Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Travel Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about uh, which websites to use to find cheap flights. The tips I'm going to be giving you today, these are non-affiliated, unbiased and honest. My number one tip is never settle for any airfare or any vacation just searching for one website. Search as many as possible and you should definitely search these websites I'm going to give you today. If you stay until the end of the video then I'll give you even two more websites to search for flight deals and uh, sometimes these sites have amazing deals which is really hard to believe. For example you can go from North America to Asia for $600 round trip or even I have seen people using uh, these deal websites to go to Japan for $500 round trip. So at the end of the video you'll have these sites forget about liking this video forget about subscribing this channel thank you for watching and I'll see you shortly the first stop when searching for cheap flights should be Google flights you can easily go to Google flights just putting in Google flights and hit search and then this is going to be uh, the first match So this is going to be a home page for Google Flights and then if you look on the left uh, you'll see that you know there are other options for example uh, trips, explore flights, hotels. So the site has a lot of information about uh, many things you can do on this site uh, but we'll just uh, I'll just quickly show you uh, how to search for flights. So let's say you want to go from Kuala Lumpur to Melbourne. Australia and then let's say you want a date uh, which is uh, November 28 so here is going to be a date but before you hit your date you'll see that you know it's showing you fares for other dates and definitely some uh, dates are cheaper than others for example if you look at November uh, thir uh, 5th then this is $343 but if you go to November then this is $495 so you have a lot of uh, flexibility uh, in terms of uh, checking you know how the fares are on different dates and here uh, if you have that option then definitely you can pick the best date uh, with the cheapest flight so once you uh, choose the date and then you hit done then it's going to be pulling up all the flights we're going to choose a one-way trip and then here we have all the flights showing up on different airlines and then you can see that you know uh, you can just pick the best one and then once you click on a specific one then it will give you more options for example it's going to uh, give you the departing flight information and the layover and other information so let's go back now this site has a wealth of information you can track prices which is right here you can uh, view date grid uh, which would show you like you know which dates are giving you uh, better options so here cheaper more expensive here you can ch uh, choose different options for example stops airlines price times and uh, there are other options flight duration uh, show separate tickets, hide separate tickets. So this is your first stop uh, when you're looking for cheap flight but do not buy anything yet because we're going to move on to another site to uh, compare and see how the prices are showing up on the next site. The next site I have here is Skyscanner. So this is a Scotland based uh, website but it was bought uh, over by Chinese company Sea Trip in 2016 which is the largest travel uh, agency in China uh, but still it has a wealth of information and you can see uh, you can search you should search your flight on this site after uh, Google flight so here we're going to do the same search Kuala Lumpur to Melbourne uh, November 28 and if we hit search flights that then it's going to pull up all the flights but before I do that I'd like to show you a cool feature which Skyscanner offers uh, is that you know if you're undecided 
and then you can explore on the map so if you uh, you know click on the map then it's going to give you a lot of destinations based on your departure and then you'll see what the prices are going to the cities from your uh, departure cities and you can like you know if you have if you want to just uh, pick any city or go anywhere then this is a great way to see all the flights on one page on the map and for example uh, here you can see that all the listings of those uh, of the flights from uh, leaving from uh, uh, Kuala Lumpur so so this is a very nice feature and you can actually use this feature uh, to search for flights as well so let's go back so once we hit the search then it's going to pull up all the flights but what you'll notice that uh, the flights are going to be slightly different than Google flights because each uh, site will pull up actually slightly different prices and different uh, airlines to give you the best flights so here uh, this is very easy to maneuver you can choose stops and then you can uh, you know choose your time and trip duration right here and then here is a listing of airlines which you can pick uh, as well and then here are the some of the results and if you look at very carefully then actually you'll see that you know it's pulling up different uh, fares and different airlines from the first uh, search we did on Google uh, Google flight so that's why you should be searching for uh, flights on more than one website so let's move on to the next uh, site the next website I have to find cheap flights is the cheap flights uh, that's actually the name of the website so it's cheapflights.ca and here you have op the same options like I showed you on the sky scanner but this looks like you know uh, it could be that you have more options here and somehow this uh, site actually picks up even more flights than uh, sky scanner or it will bring different flights from sky scanner so this uh, site actually is owned by Kayak, but uh, I have noticed that you know they always bring a uh, lot more flights and different flights for some specific reasons. For example, if you search going uh, flight originating or going to Asia, then this site would bring up uh, or show you more flights than other two. So for example, here you can see some of the flights are right here, and then. You can choose duration, uh, layover, and airline, and everything. I remember when I was uh, buying my ticket last year from Kuala Lumpur to Melbourne, uh, I found the flight on Chief Flights, which I didn't fly on Skyscanner or other flights. So this is another site you can take a look at. And again, so just, uh, you know, keep all the browsers open and then compare each of them or if you find a cheap flight on one side just uh, compare if the same flight is available on a sky scanner or Google flight and you might be even get to lower on other site so that's how you search for uh, cheap flights thank you for watching up to this point now uh, it is time to give you the bonus sites so now the two sites I'm going to be uh, talking about are next departure and YYZ deals. And these de sites is not for searching for airlines but to find deals and they have unbelievable or incredible deals which is hard to believe. So the first one I'm looking at is here next departure. So next departure.ca. So if you click on flight deals and it's going to ask to select your departure and if we select Toronto and update okay then you can see that you know it's giving you all the deals right here for example we have here uh, Canada to India only four hundred forty five dollars to six hundred seventy seven dollars or we have uh, Toronto to Italy for $568 so this one has uh, lots of deals available but uh, the problem with that that you have to be very flexible with time and there might be long changing uh, waiting time in between but if you just keep an eye on it and if you have an upcoming vacation you're planning then this is a good site to take a look at 
but then I have another site uh, which I would find has even more deals uh, which is YYZ deals and the website is yyzdeals.com and then uh, if you take a look here then you can see that you know the deals are really hard to believe for example uh, Toronto to Costa Rica is $250 round trip which includes taxes uh, but we have to wait 22 hours in Panama and then let's take a look here if there's anything else and then we have here Toronto to Philippines uh, Bali Indonesia Vietnam Thailand Cambodia for about $650 a round trip so which is another hard to deal uh, hard to find deal and then we have another one all one week uh, package deal uh, Toronto to uh, Mexico uh, which is $1,000 so here you'll find lots of deals but again same thing like uh, next departure you have to be very flexible because you know these deals are probably after uh, a couple of months or three four months it's not going to be right away and there's going to there might be sh uh, short uh, I mean long waiting hour or change in between but if you can uh, put up with those then definitely you can find lots of good deals on these two sites